Today, I'm excited to share with you my three top AI skills I believe everyone should learn. Quick overview of these three skills are one, talking to an AI or AI assistant. Two, getting a picture from an AI image generator, talking to one of those AIs. And three, text generation with an AI text generator, one that generates script. The first and most important skill is to learn how to talk to an AI period. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying is it's the most important is once you've learned how to talk to an AI, it can lead you along the rest of the process. Uh, what I'm also going to do is show you the AI that I use and then show you an AI that you can also get for free that will do a similar task, maybe not as well, maybe better. Skill number one, we're using Vento, which is a program which actually accesses GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Now, what I posed to GPT-4 was the following question write a blog post, sounds kind of familiar to what you heard, except what I got out of it, and let's see if it gives me the same thing, is more programming oriented than it is actually using AI. This is like for developing AI and <laughs> getting a master's of science in computer programming. So that was a little bit off the rails. And let's see what happens with a free version of another program. This is Vento, which accesses GPT. And the other one is Gemini, which is done by Google. And here we give it the same prompt. And this is just to emphasize that you, you <laughs> about learning. It's like talking to a three-year-old. The more explicit you are, the more it will uh, behave the way you want it to. If you be, begin with the end in mind, then uh, your results will be a lot better. And so this is. This is this one here. Now, other things that the AI can do for you is like uh, calculate. I don't know if this one will do it, but we'll find out. Um, uh, gas mileage. How much is my gas mileage? Um, three gallons in 112 miles. Not bad. Gemini did it. Let's see if uh, how well uh, Vento and GPD-4 does on it. All right. I just go back over here and copy the prompt a lot faster. Well, not that much faster, but it'd be the same. I like to compare same, same. We get the same answer or relatively same answer. Three miles, 112, 37.33 miles to the gallon. That is how to talk to an AI. There's other things you can do with AI, you know, like what can you do? And that basically is a way to start off an AI conversation is what, what do you do? I mean, uh, how can I use you? And same thing here. The 
is kind of interesting. This is actually what they call a hallucination. I prefer to say the AI is wrong. Gemini will do a lot more than this. And you'll see that in the next skill that we're going to share. Skill number two is writing a prompt for an image generator. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can write the prompt yourself, or you could even go back to your AI assistant. And in this case, we're using Volab and GPT-4. And how about write a prompt for an AI image generator to get a picture of a woman on a Southern California beach. No, it doesn't like that. I'm not capitalizing or anything. Uh, Late at late afternoon, mild surf, surf, blue water, uh, bright blue water. And let's see what. All right. Now we'll see what. Whether that improves things or not. What I like using for my images is a program called Stock Image. And we'll just go Stock Image. And we will go to a regular. And here we can control what size it is. Uh, let's go back and see if we can add, um, create new project. I don't like that size. I like 1920 by 1080. So 1920 over here, 920, and we're going to create from there. And let's have it be realistic. We're going to get four generations. Actually, I just should have done two, compare like to like. Takes a little while for things to generate. They also have all sorts of different, these are called models right here. You have all sorts to choose from for rendering a, a picture. And while we're doing that, why don't we go up? Oh, we got it. There's a woman on a beach. Now, the advantage of this is the fact that uh, you can then use it whatever way you want. You can upscale it. Um, this is a paid program. Notice one of the renders didn't even have a woman on the beach. Now, we weren't very descriptive about what's going on with this woman. That's why we have her in different outfits and everything else. Let's see what GenCraft does. Now, GenCraft... Uh, this is the way it comes up every single time. Uh, nine ninety nine a week is forty dollars a month, which is fairly expensive. Just to let you know, I'll let you uh, take a look at. Uh, I'll give you prices of everything at the end. All my paid programs. This one's actually free. You get five prompts a day, which is plenty for me. If you have several free programs, you could use them. And let's go with, we don't want uh, animate. We got hyper realism, which is good right there. And generate. And it gives you a couple of um, examples of other people's work. I like this because it gives a fairly good clean photo 
uh, generation. And why is it not giving me a second one? It doesn't like me yet. Upgrade to train our custom. Let's see, one of two. Except failed to image due to quality standards, your credit will be refunded. Okay, well, that's nice. <laughs> Let's try this again. Maybe we'll get two this time. Usually it gives you two to choose from. There we go. There's one and two. Not bad. You could use this. Now the question is, is uh, read up about the rights of using. For me, I can use this for any commercial uh, work because I paid for it. This one, you're not paying for it, so I don't know exactly what your rights are going to be. Now, we're going to try one other program just out of Grens here. And this is why I was saying that it was hallucinating. Notice it didn't say anything about the fact that Gemini also can, maybe, we're working on it. Uh, return soon. Now, that's just a lie. Uh, let's see. Um, golden Retriever. Draw a Golden They're constantly changing this uh, program. And it's exciting. See? There. It can draw. It's just a question of how detailed of a drawing. But GenCraft will give you a fairly detailed rendition. There you have skill number two, which is photo generation, which I use all the time on YouTube. Skill number three, which is writing. There's all sorts of interesting ways that Programs will help you with writing. This is Vola, and it's showing all these things that we can do with writing. Uh, cover letter, tagline, creative story. And if we tag, if I click here, it literally will just do uh, write, uh, write a story about, and then you fill in the blank. But I already have one. Write the first chapter of a story like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Make the central character a computer nerd. And the Three Bears, the three skills of AI picture generation, writing text, and talking to AI. And the reason why I'm only making it one chapter is so that it doesn't take up forever of time. GPT-4 is a little slower than 3.5, but it's a lot more creative. And as here it is, we're getting the first chapter of the whole thing. First skill, picture generation. Uh, actually, it looks like they're going give, to give the whole thing. Of course, Alex, Alex typed in. It was a whole story almost. Of course, it wasn't a very snappy story, but... There we are. So equipped with this powerful skill, Alex continued his journey into the evolving world of artificial intelligence. This is the first time that I did this. Now with creative uh, work with AI, here's the problem that's happening and probably the reason why the media is getting so upset is this is all being presented to the public However, the authors are leaving out this crucial point right here. I think that when a person uses AI to generate work, they should also include the prompt. Unless it's with a picture and then they could just say that they used the AI to make a picture. And the reason being for picture, there's certain little tricks and nuances. And same thing with a story, but... Maybe they could have something that said, well, the prompt was this many characters and the generation was this many characters. That way people would know how much was actually the author's work. I actually credit AI when I back to Gemini. Now they 
also will help you out with that. But let's give it the exact same prompt and see what it comes up with. Because we're just going for the first, genera uh, first generation here. His map of, I, I kind of like Gemini even better. It's more story-like, but to each their own. That is skill number three. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And I know one question that's on your mind is, how much does Gemini cost? Gemini doesn't cost a thing. Uh, how much does Vola cost? Here's how much Vola costs. I have the ultimate, which is $16 a month. And uh, that's why I'm giving you alternatives to that. It's nice that Vola has access to history and Gemini also has access to history. Whatever AI program you get, it's very nice if you have access to history. That way, when you're working on a prompt, you don't have to do open up a separate file on your computer and store your prompts, although that helps too. All right, so prompt pricing for stock image. This is how much pricing is on stock image. It's billed monthly, $29.90. There you have it. My top three skills for AI literacy. One, to be able to just access the AI in the first place, to talk to it. Two, to be able to have an AI that you can generate pictures with. And three, using an AI to get documents. Oh, it's so amazing. AI is great. Embrace AI. I love you all. Bye-bye.